Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another care collab, and this time it's about a good layout. I was invited to join this care collab by Ninja Orchids, and the other channels that participate are Ed's Orchids and Karin's Orchids. And just a quick shout out to Nina here. I highly appreciate that you send out the list of participating channels in alphabetical order. I really enjoy that my OCD is being catered to here. Amazing. So, Cuclea Deliana is a very special orchid to me. It's one of the first Cuclea. species I bought. Like all of my Cuclea's, it's still a young plant. So, at this point, I can only tell you how to not kill the plant. I've never seen flowers on it, I've never smelled them, but I got this plant because of the flowers. Usually, I always say, Great orchids with its journey. But for this one, I really went for the flowers because it's just a flower shape that is very, very distinct from any other Cattleya. However, I also read online that the flowers are not very long lived. Cattleya Daoyana was discovered in Costa Rica originally, but it's also found in Colombia. And it's one of the iconic large flowered unifoliate Cattleyas with the fluffy lip. It's definitely a very prized plant and there are several color forms out there. As far as I know, the one I have is a tipo, which has yellowish sepals and petals and then a very dark maroon lip. But other than the color, the flowers are definitely very well known for their intense fragrance. I can't wait to experience that personally. So without further ado, let's just have a quick look at how I grow the plant. Okay, as always, let me just start off with a quick summary of my grow setup. So I grow in Germany in a small apartment. I don't have any special setups, no greenhouse, no grow tent. I grow under artificial lights. I have two lights up there to simulate seasons for the plants. I basically change the daylight length every month to kind of match what the sun would do naturally outside. So now in June, the plants get 16 hours of daylight and 8 hours of a night rest, whereas in winter it would be 10 hours of daylight and then 14 hours of a night rest. And let me just kind of zoom in <laughs> into this uh, plant here. This is the Cattleya Dawiana that we want to talk about today. When it arrived, it had basically these so four growths. There's a there's a tiny seedling growth there and then it had these three additional leaves as you can see it made a big jump from this leaf to this one when i got it it was basically just maturing this one and then in spring it started to put out this growth here and then this one in the back i'm very pleased with this uh, plant so far but i'm sorry i'm just uh, wiping off a little bit of the sap because this plant produces a lot of the, the happy sap. I guess that's a good sign. Usually the pseudobulbs get as tall as this sheath is, which would be quite a step up from last year's growth. And not only that, but there is a second one, as I said, coming over there, which is promising to be a little bigger than last year's growth. So far in my care, this seems to be an extremely vigorous grower. Also, as you can see on the root front, it's just producing root after root and it's slowly filling up this pot. So I'm extremely happy with this plant. I have read online, for example, on Chadwick and Sun, that Cattleya Daoyana is very prone to rot, which is why I was a little worried when I first saw this sheath down here darkening up. I don't know if this is rot. Right now, just touching it, it's not soft, it's not mushy. So I kind of, I don't think it's rot. I have seen similar darker colored sheaths on other plants that I have. So maybe this is just a natural development and it's not a reason to be worried. I try to provide as much light as I can for this plant. So it's basically, it's sitting right underneath the grow light, as you can see here. And it's also on a heat mat to provide it with as much light as it can get and also a lot of warmth. 
because from what I've read online, this plant is supposed to be a pretty hot grower. Right now, the conditions I'm working with are very low humidity. So, and this is after spraying. As you saw in the intro, I sprayed the plants. So we have 25% humidity and like 28 degrees temperature. This is up there. The heat mat definitely provides a little more warmth. So I would assume that in the pot and around the plant, we have probably more like 30 degrees. I got this plant from Schwerter Orchideen. It's a nursery in Germany. I'm a big fan of them. Many of my plants are from them, like this Rincolalia glauca, the two Walkerianas I have, the Cattleya rex over there is from them as well. Really happy with this growth, by the way. I know we're talking about the Daoyana, but look at that rex growth, like much bigger. So this is last year's, this is much bigger and it's producing a second one as well. So, ugh, sticky. I feel like if you're in Europe, Definitely try them out. They have lots of plants, maybe not usually super rare plants, but just for your Cattleya species, definitely they're a good nursery, I think. Thanks a lot for watching my video. I really appreciate everyone to take time of their day to stop by here. Go now over to Ed's Orchids, Karen's Orchids and Ninja Orchids to see how they grow the plants. As I said, I'm very much an amateur grower. I hope that you know, through watching all of our videos, you can form your own opinion on what would be the most suitable setup for your environment. And yeah, with all of that said, thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Bye. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Um, I highly, I, 